hello children parents teachers and all the well wishers welcome back to another interesting poem laughter is the best medicine we all enjoy laughter is the most contagious contagious than cold cough sneezes when you look at someone laughing automatically we also laugh we don't know what for they laugh later we go and ask what is that what makes you laugh i tell you laughter is the best medicine today's poem it is the muddle head and poet ogden nash american poet well known for humorous poetry easy and free verse it is easy to understand it is not so difficult but makes us laugh so much in this age of technology smart devices and moreover the pandemic has restricted us only we and the smart gadgets for so many hours we lost that naturality of laughing with the people we lost that human interaction and laughter previously every town used to have so many parks every city used to have so many parks and every park has a laughing club if you can remember during these days of pandemic there is no human interaction people tend to become more serious panicked anxious moments and even the media also give us the news which makes us panic i want to bring back that laughter in you reading books reading poetry cracking some jokes with our friends with our colleagues one another neighborhood laughing for some time in a day laugh at your heart laugh out in such a way that you feel happy and it is a wonderful health tip so this muddle head is a wonderful poem of ncrt book where most of the cbsc and many of the boards use this i'll start this straight away reading those lines which makes us laugh so much i knew a man from petishkui as muddle head as could be petishki i knew a man of the nash muddle head we use this word let us see why this muddle head name this man got he always got mixed up with clothes he wore his mittens on his toes forgot his collar in his haste and tied his tie around his waist mitten supposed to wear to our beautiful hands socks to our toes and feet but he wears those mittens to the toes ties the tie instead of collar to his waist as a waist belt so he get mixed up with his clothes he is not sure where he wants to wear what he wears What a muddle head was he that man who lived in Petishki such a muddle head he lives in Petishki he mixes his clothes makes people laugh they told him as he went about you caught your coat on inside out and when they saw his hat they said you have put a saucepan on your head when he started walking in the streets of Petishki people say hey man you wore the coat inside out sometimes we see our children also wearing inside out our adults also wearing inside out then we say hey you wore the shirt wrong way 
and we laugh they laugh it makes us laugh when he goes in the street people used to tell him you wore the coat inside out and instead of a hat on his head he had a sauce pan on his head and walking in the street what a muddle head was he that man who lived in petishki at lunch he scratched a piece of bread and spread some butter on his head at lunch he sat with bread and you know everything how all his uh, other butter jam what did he do he scratched a piece of bread he supposed to scratch the butter and spread but what did he do scratched piece of bread spread some butter on his head he put his walking stick to bed and he stood in the rack instead so after coming from a walk walking stick he supposed to keep in the rack what did he do he put the walking stick on the bed he went and stood inside the rack instead of keeping the stick he stood in, inside the rack what a muddle head was he that man who lived in petishki everything is doing in a different way he walked up to a tram one day and climbed in very sprightly conductor thought that he would pay he went into the tram just like our city buses tram cars will be moving taking people it's a public transport then conductor he walked in a hurried way sprightly he took the climbs and st stood in the tram and conductor was looking at him that he will pay instead he said politely parting your begone kister mandakta <laughs> parting your begone i beg your pardon he mixed the words he mixed the consonants kister conductor instead of mr conductor he said kister conductor i am off for a weeks vacation i stop you to beg your tramway car tramway car he said tramway car you just imagine as soon as we reach the station conductor got a fright and didn't sleep that night <laughs> conductor for the first time in his life he seen someone who really muddled the consonants mix the words mix the sounds instead of tram car he said tramway and then car he said tra tar you just imagine he couldn't the conductor couldn't sleep that night what a muddle head was he that man who lived in petishki he rushed into the first cafe a railway ticket please one way he went into the cafe in the early in the morning and what did he say a railway ticket please one way and at the ticket office said a slice of tea and a cup of bread he went to the cafe asked for the railway ticket one way he went to the ticket uh, uh, place where the ticketing is and he said a slice of tea a cup of bread see how he mixed out beauty of ogden nash the poet american poet it's it is a talent to write such words in the poetry a slice of tea and a cup of bread people laugh what a muddle head was he that man who lived in petishki he passed the man collecting the fares and entered a carriage of waiting repairs that stood on a siding all by itself half of his luggage he put on a shelf the rest on the floor he squatted on his lap and settled himself for a bit of a nap he passed on the collecting of the fares he went he got into a carriage which is awaiting for repairs he got inside he settled down he put his uh, uh, suitcase or luggage on shelf and some down on the floor he removed his coat kept on the lap and he nicely wanted to take a nap thinking that the carriage will take him but he got into a carriage which one is ready to be repaired all at once he raised his head i must have been asleep he said 
Hey, what stop is this? He cried. Petish ki, a voice replied. And he, he just closed his eyes, had a nap. He got up and said, oh, I think I might have slept for some time. Maybe I might have traveled quite far. What is this place? Someone has said Petish ki. Once again, he closed his eyes and dreamt he was in paradise. When he woke, he looked about, raised the window and leaned out. I have seen this place before, I believe. Is it Kakao or is it Cave? Tell me where I am, he cried. In Petushki, a voice replied. He slept and he dreamt as if he's in a paradise. He's thinking that carriage is taking him all over. Then he woke up suddenly, he lifted the window and he looked around. I think I know this place pretty well. Is it a Kakao? Is it a Cave? What is this place? He was asking. Then a voice replied, Petushki. And so again he settled down and dreamt that world was upside down. When he woke, he looked about, raised the window and looked out. I seem to know this station too. Is it Nalchik or Baku? Tell me what it's called. He cried. Petushki, a voice replied. Again he went back. He slept, thinking that he's traveling to some nice place. And then he woke up. He lifted the window. He looked out. He said, what is this? Is this the same place? Am I not traveling? Where am I? And again a voice replied in Petushki. Up he jumped. Then he realized, it's a crime. I've been riding all the time. And there I am, where I began. That's no way to treat a man. He said, how can it be? I am traveling, I am sitting in a carriage. And I am in the same place. It's a crime, it's a crime. You can't treat a man like this. You should be taking me. This carriage should be traveling. What a muddlehead he is. What a muddlehead he was. That man who lived in Petushki. Beautiful lines of the poem, The Muddlehead by Ogden Nash. Laughter is the best medicine, my dear students, parents, teachers. Let us take some time to laugh. It is contagious, infectious, makes everyone laugh. We all should laugh. It improves our health. Few lines were given here. The sound of roaring laughter is far more contagious than any cough, sniffle or sneeze. When laughter is shared, it binds people together and increases happiness and intimacy. You need to share the laughter. When you share the laughter, you become more closer. It binds the people together. It makes the people very intimate. It builds the relationships. It is very important. Laughter also strengthens your immunity system, which is very important in these days of pandemic, in these days of infections and virus. Laughter improves our immunity, boosts energy, protects you from the damaging effects of stress. We are all stressed with so many things. Start taking some time to laugh. Share some jokes. Share some reality. Instead of spreading the bad, let us spread some humor. Let us make people laugh. Because not only it gives us good health, it gives us good human relationships. As long as we live, let us laugh and make everyone laugh. And this is the best medicine and it is a priceless medicine. You need not pay even a single penny. You need not pay a single rupee. Just free. Free of cost. But helps us to improve our immunity. And I want everybody to think of this wonderful poem. Like that we have so many jokes. So many poems. So many things to be laughed and shared. Laugh. It doesn't give any pain to anyone. Don't laugh at the people. Laugh at the things what people do. 
then the binding of human relationships will be stronger makes it better gives you good health and strength i want everybody to think of this let's laugh and make everybody laugh take care have a blessed day